Hello and welcome to the finals. I mean, not really finals since this, this is a pro release event and as such is Swiss, but we are 2 to 0 and well, let's take a mulligan then. So nice. Uh, even though, you know, we have all three mana cards. Alright, well, another three mana card, but I'm gonna leave that on top. Uh, it's a nice little combo, right? Uh, the genius and the fortuitous find. But the genius gets to, to discard cards that you can then bring back the fortuitous find. I'm thinking I'm gonna play a genius turn three, and you know, if things go according to plan, I should be playing a, a filigree familiar on turn four, discarding a, a second genius. All right, sky skiff. Let's see if he plays a guy here and uh, cruise his Skyskiff. All right. He's probably, you know, just screwing, screwing his Skyskiff here, just because I don't think he's going to be able to. He's going to want to block with the Rhino. So that's fine. All right. Well, at this point here, I think I'm I'm going to discard a Swamp. Drew into another swamp, sure. So I get to attack. Attack him down to 17. I did mulligan this this game. Which is annoying since you know, looking at his hand he has six cards and I <laughs> only have three. <coughs> All right, a nerd ape. Nice nerd ape. All right. So he's going all in. He he re really is going for it. I'm not going to block. He's going to attack him during his turn and play a a genius. Ooh, look at that. Right. So I I guess I could double block genius and Philip familiar on one of his cards. Uh, all right, uh, Foundry's creature is fine, I guess. But if he has a removal spell from my familiar, then he, and I block this thing, then he dies. In, you know, he shrinks in mid combat. That's not really what we're looking to to do here. <coughs> Let's see. Let's attack with this thing. See what he does. Didn't do anything. Let's cast the second one then. Then you know we'll have some 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 options here when it comes to blocking. Man, he could have had uh, an insane start. I mean, his start was nice, but turn one this thing, turn two this thing, turn two, three this thing. That would be just preposterously good. Well, since he's doing that, I guess I would just block here. And uh, I block here, and I and I chomp his his largest his largest guy there. Let's see what he does. He could you know just pump this thing, or he could could pump this. I guess he will. All right, he pumps them both. So uh, yes, I guess this is what's happening. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Sadly, this thing is not a, an instant. <laughs> if you were, that would be awesome. Either way, let's play the the creature. And at this point, I'm not playing the mountain because next turn I'll probably get to uh, play, you know, fortuitous find. And you know, chances are I'll only need six mana. It's either six or nine mana to to play fortuitous find plus one card. So you know, having <coughs> Uh, uh, another land on the battlefield does not help me there. I mean, I have to play it next turn probably, but if I draw into another land here, 
then then right I can play it <clears throat> I want the reason why I want to have you know cards in hand is because of this guy you know if I draw into an artifact I can just go ahead and try to make that happen alright speedway fanatic it's probably yeah like at this point I'm far enough behind that I don't really want to I mean if he had crewed his skyscape I would definitely just block it let's do like this shall we Trade three for three, draw a card, and then we can play a fortune is fine. Drilling, look at that. Alright, inventors goggles. Uh, so filigree familiar is gonna make it back. And maybe a quick silver genius. I am not entirely sure. Yeah, I guess like by drawing this thing, I could have you know just played the mountain last turn and <laughs> be able to do it here. But uh, I don't think I'd have enough cards in hand to do that to do everything I could do here uh, regarding discarding cards and drawing cards with that guy. So creature, I mean, I could draw into a foundry creature. I, I couldn't get a foundry creature. Yeah, Foundry Screecher would be great because of the goggles, right? And yeah, on the other hand, if we get this thing, it would be a 4 4 without us having to pay 2 mana for it. By the way, he's killing us in, this, in the air here with that thing. We do have a removal spell, right? Yeah, like, I guess I'm gonna try and do it like that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play a filigree familiar first, though, because I want to gain life, you know, and chomp him, because otherwise you're gonna be at a precariously low life total. And I guess the way <laughs> we won't want to, to, you know, play this thing than this in order to avoid paying two to equip. Because we actually want to <laughs> to go ahead and and uh, loot away this mountain, right? All right. It's an annoying card. It's a five-five, meaning that yeah, even my goggled up genius will not be enough to contain this thing. On the plus side, he cannot really attack me with the sky skiff. Right, he can. He could do that, right? It's fine. So I leave this thing here to chum block the, the barge. So, one, two, three. And we get to play a goggles. Hopefully, he doesn't have a removal spell in response. Yes, and I'm gonna discard a swamp, I think. Sure, a swamp, why not? Alright, Gonti. So we can do it like this. Gonti is a rogue instead of an artificer, meaning that we won't be able to, you know, just equip it. But, you know, it could be a good one. Not sure whether I do play that mountain or not. I mean, playing it allows me to have a better shot of actually casting whatever Gunty reveals next turn if I join to land. On the other hand, I don't really want to join to land, so. <laughs> Alright. Ah, that's problematic. So he's just gonna go ahead and crew that thing, crew this thing. He's gonna crew both his vehicles and attack. And I'm going to chump one of them. It doesn't have trample, right? I'm going to chump it with filigree familiar. Or rather, I guess I could double block. Right? Sure, why not?
go down to five here. All right, let's gas gun tea then. Ooh, welding sparks. That's actually awesome for us. Okay, so let's just do it like this, shall we? Right. Let's allow him to attack. And we'll get to weld some sparks there. So Gunty this turn was just insane value. Alright, he has his own quicksmith genius here. <coughs> Alright, he's screwing Skyskiff and he's attacking with his team. Right. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to block here. I'm going to jump there. I mean am I? I'm not sure. I guess I should, right? I mean I get to get to draw a card at least. And let's kill that thing. Let's hope to, to draw into non lands here. Alright, alright. That's that's actually a fine one. And that's a fine one as well. This is a Artificer, great news. Great, great news. So one, two, three, four, five, plus three, yeah. Guess we get to play our entire hand here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. <coughs> and at, at this point, I think we're going to make a token because we need to, you know, chum blocks. If I yes, I'm going to use the ability and. When it comes to fabricate, I will make a servo. And play a land and a salivating granite. So uh right now I think we have a better board position, but he has more cards in hand and he is winning the game when it comes to life totals. So we definitely have to, to draw well here to be in this game. Alright, that was a great draw by him. And that was a lousy draw by us, <laughs> but what you gonna do, right? Hopefully not a removal spell. Oh, come on. <laughs> another one. Sure, and we drew into another mountain. Oh boy. Can't help but feel like that's kind of unfair. Alright. Has a cobra. He'll be able to loot his land away. Man. Yeah, this is a big game for him. I don't think that's going to be anything I, I'm able to do here. Alright. So I can double block one of the menace guys, and I'll be dead anyway. So he decided to go for it. I could have a removal spell to you know make this. this uh, attack here, very bad for him, but he decided to go for it anyway. And, you know, it's a fine line of play. Uh, demolish. Let's see. I'm gonna take out an eager construct. I'm not in love with that card. On the other hand, Rush of Vitality is a great card. Could bring in a Fire Weaver. A cathartic Reunion. Man, the Reunion. Could be an okay card here for us, but I think I'm happy with the thing as this. Let's see if we can win this one. Uh, yes, playing first. No, this I'm going to keep. I'm definitely going to keep. Like, I'm going to be able to have a turn two smuggler's captor, and if we manage to draw into a, a swamp until then, which is likely. Uh, we'll even have Rush of Vitality up. Alright, no swamp for us. But we have a copter. <coughs> so 
Man, let's hope. I guess I do hope he plays something here. <laughs> Alright, Sky Skiff. I mean, didn't have to be an artifact, right? Alright, there we go. We have a swamp. If we have a swamp, what we're going to do? We're going to play uh, a genius? Probably. One, two, three. And let's activate our copter to not only attack him but to loot a card as well. Ah, uh, yes, I would very much like to use it. Yeah, taking, dropping the salivating gremlins, dealing three to his face. He, he had a great start here, make no mistake about it, but since I do have a copter, I. Ah, oh, Jesus. Yeah, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna take a bunch of damage here. I was thinking, like, I was hoping he would leave this thing back to block. Because if I do have a rush of vitality, that would be awesome for me. Uh, let's cast a Grubs. And not attack? Is that it? Probably. Well, maybe we do attack. Yeah, you know what? I think we do attack by tapping the grubs. Uh, you know, lifelink here is going to be a big game for us. And the question is, do we attack with both? Let's see. If he plays a creature, he can attack us for two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. I don't think I, I attack with the the genius though. Just the, the copter to try and loot something. Yes. Ah, a swamp. Nah, I guess I'll loot that away anyway. So let's see what he does here. <coughs> I gotta be mindful of a lifelink here because lifelink would be a very big game. I guess I could have attacked with, I mean, could could have uh, discarded a, a brazen scourge to just play a flyer next turn to be able to just play a flyer and have rush of vitality at the ready. All right, definitely blocking. Let's see what he does here. Alright, well... <laughs> that's an annoying guy, that's for sure. Ooh, Bomite Courier is actually perfect for us. And we could even attack with it, I mean, not really. So, we're at 10, he deals... One, two, if he has a creature, he just four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I guess we have to go for it, right? We have to try and uh, yeah, I suppose we do. Let's play a brazen scourge. If he has a haste guy, then I guess we're dead. I mean, not really, because you're gonna have to have a haste guy plus another guy to crew his his skiff there. This is what we're going to do. Let's screw the cutter. I guess it, if he actually manages to uh, race a cutter, that's going to be a testament to, <laughs> to how good his deck actually is. I guess I could leave this guy back, but you know. The thing is, I, I'd have to leave two guys back, because this allows him to make one of my guys unable to block. <clears throat> uh, yes, I want to pay. And yes, I want to loot. <clears throat> mm. 
yes, again, I'll, I'll have to discard the land here. I guess the, the best outcome possible here would be for him to block one of my guys. Or rather, for him to not block, but then uh, be able to you know, put me down to one next turn, and then I'd have the rush of vitality. Alright, he, he, he did block that. I was gonna say uh, it would be great f uh, for him to you know just leave mana open to deal free damage to my copter when I went to attack, and then uh, just you know be absolutely owned by a rush of vitality. That would be awesome. So right now I am ahead, both in life total and and in the table. All right, we were giants. Sure. So I guess I'll just transform my ooh yeah that that's gonna own him pretty hard. I'm gonna transform then I'm going to attack. Alright. Well, I will attack regardless. Yes, I will loot. This thing, by the way, loots when it blocks, which is absolutely insane. It doesn't make any flavor sense either. Uh, yes, let's see. Ooh, a goggles. Nah, I don't think I want goggles. I guess I could discard a creature so that I'll be able to play something this turn. Right, I play the Rush of Vitality and then the goggles. Sure. Sure. I guess I am attacking him in the air anyway. Alright. Let's rush up the copter. Gain for life while we're at it and just play a goggles. Post combo. So like this game is not won already, but I think we have a good shot. I mean, he, he does have three cards in hand. We are having mana development problems here. I guess we've been choosing to, right? <laughs> we did discard two swamps with the copter. But yes, copter is doing fine work here. <clears throat> if he attack with he attacks with both, I am definitely blocking with the grubs, blocking this thing with the grubs. The fact that he's thinking is actually good news for us, because if he had drawn into a night effect removal spell, he would be, or even a creature removal spell, he would probably be uh, less thoughtful. <laughs> I guess if he draws a creature removal spell, he, he, he could think a bit, right? Whether he removed my, my grubs, or whether he saved it for my copter. All right, another giant. Ooh, that's actually great. So, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna transform the copter to see if I draw into a land here. If I do, I can discard the familiar and play a tidy conclusion during his turn. Or, may, or rather, maybe just now, right? Alright, there we go. So, discard the familiar, bash him for three, and gain a bunch of life. The reason why I do not want to wait until his turn to play the tidy conclusion is because he might have the, the combat trick there, the one mana. Hexproof thing, and not only do I want to kill his guy, I want to gain three life. <clears throat> now I do have zero cards in hand, which is you know not optimal, but I guess we are far enough ahead that we are uh, actually controlling things here. It's it's him that's the one who has to actually draw into something urgently here. 
<clears throat> so let's see what happens. Is Jess going to attack with a mana sky? Oh, he's going to attack with both. That is very interesting. Yes, I guess I do this. I mean, if he can kill my other creature, he can just shut off my, my copter. Alright, I'm okay with that. And I'm okay with drawing that as well. Uh, so what do I do here? Like five, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight. He puts me down to one. I guess what I do here is this. I play this thing. I, I use it to activate my copter. And I attack with both. Because this thing will actually allow me here to, to, to draw into something. I'll even do this. Right? Yeah. Suppose I will. <clears throat> it's probably going to block. Uh, well, do I loot? I don't have any, you know, interactions here, but I do have a lot of lands. But I guess I don't loot. It make me feel bad if I draw into a removal spell and then loot it away. I guess what I could have done is uh, stacked the triggers so that that uh, this thing resolves first, because he's definitely going to block it. Otherwise, he's dead, right? So yeah, I think I would rather just do this. Yeah, I guess that was definitely a mistake. I should have uh, stacked... Ooh, look at that. I should have stacked the, the triggers in such a way that uh, it would allow me to first draw the card and then decide whether... I mean, and, and then loot, right? Because it's not a... Ooh, uh, no, no. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, even even if I had killed his his cobra, I would be dead here. Oh well. So he did race a <laughs> a copter, right? There we go. At least we did go two zero. <laughs> that was frustrating because I felt like the that last game we had uh, we had a grip on it. Oh well, it happens. So thank you, thank you for watching, and see you next time.